Lands and Natural Resources Minister Elijah Mchima has called for increased commitments towards land restoration activities in Africa. Dr. Mchima says land restoration activities should be prioritized in rural and vulnerable communities who are facing the brunt of climate change the most. He was speaking during the closing ceremony of the Accelerating Nature-Based Solutions Conference in Livingston. And Global Engineering Alliance Chief Executive Officer Chris Amitej said the five-day event formulated a, a blueprint for impactful land restoration activities in Africa. Meanwhile, Save the Children Country Director Jom Sonda said partnerships forged at the conference must ensure that children are protected from climate change impacts. Over a few days, we have witnessed a remarkable gathering of traditional chiefs, global leaders, experts, and advocates from all over the world and more than 54 countries committed to addressing the causes of land degradation and arriving at effective solutions for restoration, thereby contributing to sustainable development. This is credible. If all of us worldwide this campaign we have started with should not leave anyone behind, including those in the villages. They are the people who suffer most. With this drought in Zambia, it has hit us. We're, we're trying to work at larger scales. We're trying to work more collaboratively. We're trying to work in a way that delivers more transformative impact and that maximizes the direct benefits, both to the communities and to the environment and of course to, to the planet. For me, the, the really helpful thing about the conference is finding out who does what, making those contacts, giving, uh, finding out about examples of what works well, uh, and about how we can work together to come up with those solutions. So really, it's about yeah, it's it's about the partnership.